Pure and Lufina settled near this harbor. Someone. Pure and Lufina settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. What about my wares? Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, Take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? You're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. I'm a dog master. Being inquisitive befits my line of work. Keeps things under control. You'll find no trouble here unless you seek it. I only want to speak with some old friends. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor? Hjor and Yufina have done well for themselves. Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are <gasps> thieves around lately. I cannot wait for the... Snow, wine, food. It is truly the best time of the year. Have you gotten gifts for your family yet? Let's see you, old friend. This third crate of mine taken this week. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body... It's not your or Lufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? Is this one of the thieves? The trail continues. Zunin, guide me. Lufina! Closer! Now! It's... it's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? But... who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jovik. I have only come to help. On my honor. I am sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. 
I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. Won't be just. Hide low. We can slip past them. Ugh! <laughs> 
Let's keep moving. Matter of my fee. Look here. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Huh. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The sludge in the streets often drip. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. 
They nearly did me, Yor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Yor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into your week. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war! We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men! Understood, dear Farafit, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on! Enough! The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Here, I was not aware we had company, the likes of which I did not approve. You have a problem in Jorvik? Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again! She survived. But the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Faravid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well-fed wastrel is Aldun, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Haftan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Hyo, send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishi will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love... I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run this city now. But the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. 
Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. Smallest army. Wreaths, timber, food, wine. An expensive list of items to procure for a feast. Thank you, Auden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abbess does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minister. I 
Shouldn't look for the bishop there. Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is it? Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Stop! Ah! Enough! Ah! Leave me be! Please! What has you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the Red Hand! They're everywhere! Please, I don't want any trouble! Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where's this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there! 